Hello, good morning, everyone. It's great honor to be here today to present the topic competency video or to the foundation of the, to the future of our education system. I am Dr. Ramon from Myanmar. I work as the Department of Technical Education and Training in the Ministry of Science and Technology. Now I am currently serve the head of training affairs department. Now let me introduce you the structure of today's presentation. We will begin the is mining the deeper session in Yama. We will provide a foundation of my presentation. From there, from there, uh, we will turn into the competency building of deeper teacher. Uh, this the center role in the align the deeper program in education system. Uh, we will we will combine challenges in competency in this area and we will explore the uh, strategy for fatty competency I will also share uh, some current activity at our college and then we will include community plan and co-action uh, before summarizing. Uh, this topic are uh, interconnected and it is clear for uh, my discussion today. Let's try it. This time I show that uh, it, you look like, uh, at the key ministry involved in deeper sata. Our DDPA is the focal DDPA provider. At this time I can show the uh, interconnection and the collaboration with the Peria ministry, Peria ministry in the lining with the other ministry. That I can also show the, uh, the total number of students uh, enrolled in various different programs in our country in different sector. The budget show the show the how many uh, how many colleges different school uh, already open in East State and Division. Our college stay in the Mandalay Divisions. Our college is the only college. The only Diva College in Diva Sata. It is intended to implement the following objective of competency building of Diva teacher. The first is to enhance pedagogical skills. Uh, we need to focus on improving teaching methods to better engage students and facilitate effective learning. The second is to improve technical knowledge and expertise. We need to update and depend teacher technical skills to ensure they can train students in the later industry practice. The third objective for this objective, we need to encourage continuous learning and career advancement for teachers to keep them motivated and skilled. The last thing, to ensure alignment with industry standards and demand, we need to align teaching with current industry needs to make sure students are job ready and meet employer expectations. This is the objective of the community. Uh, this is like show uh, we discuss about co competency or deeper teacher. Uh, our deeper teacher uh, must be fulfill this competency. The first the pedagogical competence, technical competence, and interpersonal competence. And uh, we need to fulfill for our teachers. By focusing on the essay, you can effectively communicate the importance of different teacher competency ability and make a strong case for its ongoing uh, prioritization. Now, this, uh, uh, we explore this Osaka. Uh, this is uh, a limited professional development opportunity, outdated curriculum, and teaching method and uh, resource constraint. These challenges must be addressed to ensure that our, uh, our teachers are fully equipped to deliver the highest standard of education and training. In this slide, we will discuss the strategy for effective learning. In this slide, the various strategy for competency will be focused on approach that have been successfully in similar context. This strategy will provide a roadmap for enhancing the skill and capability for our teachers. Now, I would like to discuss the course offer in our college. 
our college, uh, we are offer the pedagogy training uh, for our uh, preserving and inserting teacher training, and then for the technical training, and we have the seventh mama in our college, uh, civil, electrical power, electronic, uh, information technology, and so on. And also, uh, we offer the management training for uh, our school, principal and head of department. This is uh, our training in my college. Also, in my college, the preserve training for different teacher was set in 2017. In this training, uh, we deliver the five modules, basic and strategic skills for online learning, uh, fashion or DD, and then workshop management safety, uh, safety system and safety for our workshop, and pedagogy skills or teaching method, and uh, also life skills. It is the module in this training. Also, in our college, the course offered by seven teaching departments and several teachers uh, in our country, uh, I, we had uh, so many institutions uh, such as Government Technical High School, Government Technical Institute, uh, Government Technical College. So, uh, we, our college trained uh, the teacher from this school. Uh, we also had the workshop seminar with the people of the state order and uh, industry. Uh, with, because, uh, we do every uh, line the, our curricula and the industry and need. Also, we had the deeper teacher skate competition was in since 2019. Also, student skate competition was held since 2023. We had this competition following objective to be able to encourage and improve the quality of practical teaching and to be able to systematically prepare a practical lesson and the lessons that to be able to make training more effective. Have we outlined the strategy for competency building? The next step is putting this strategy into action. This slide presents the implementation plan specifically tailored for our college. We will look at how this strategy can be systematically applied to ensure that our teachers receive their training and support. They need to exert in their roles. After immigration plan, we, we need to build the best practice for our teachers. We, we discussed the important of community and the standard to achieve barriers required for all as to take action. The slide outlines specific action we can each day, whether it's supporting policy changes that contribute to the training program or simply separating the word about the importance of teacher competency in TPEC. Together, we can make a meaningful impact. To summarize, as we read at the end of my presentation, it is clear that competency building for different teacher is not just a goal. It is necessary for the future of our education system. By understanding the current state of our different system, identifying the key challenges and implementing target strategies, we can empower our teacher to deliver. We can and we can high quality education that meet the demand of our MOVI industry. This emergency plan at Tiba Teacher Training College in our college is a significant step in the direction. However, our success depends on collaboration and continuous improvement and share commitment to excellence in teaching. This is my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.